Let's do an example here. This example is similar to one of the examples given as an exercise. The probability of a car repair being on time is 0 0.4. So let's define this event. Let's call event A is the event that a car repair is on time. Okay? And that event has a probability of 0 0.4. The probability of a car repair being satisfactory is 0 0.5. Likewise, let's define event B to be the event that a car repair is satisfactory. So the probability of B is equal to 0 0.5, 0. The probability that a car repair is neither satisfactory nor on time is 0.25. Let's look at that event. Neither satisfactory nor on time is the following. This is event A. This is event B. It's neither A nor B. So it's the event outside of the union of A and B. And that is the probability of A union B complement as 0.25. The question is to find the probability of a repair being satisfactory and on time. That is, we need to find the probability of A intersection B. We could use the inclusion-exclusion principle. That is, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. I can make A intersection B as the subject of the equation and get the probability of A intersection B as equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A union B. I have everything that I need. P of A is 0 0.4, 0 0.4, plus P of B is 0 0.5, plus 0 0.5, minus the union. We can find the union in the following way. Since the complement of the union has a probability of 0 0.5, that implies the union is 1 minus the probability of the complement, which is 0.25. And that gives you 0 0.75. That is minus 0 0.75 here. Our answer, therefore, is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5, that's 0 0.9, minus 0 0.75, that would be 0 0.15. Okay, let's do one more example, a little bit trickier than this one. This example is similar to one of the problems assigned as an exercise. We are given the probability of A complement intersection B complement to be 0 0.25 and the probability of A complement union B is 0 0.8. The question is to find the probability of B. I want you to look at this event, A complement intersection B complement and A complement union B on a Venn diagram. So draw a Venn diagram, look at what those events are. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the inclusion-exclusion principle that we did in lecture number 3. It's the probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Since the question is to find P of B, I want to make this the subject of the equation. Therefore, I have the probability of B is equal to probability of A union B okay, minus that value and that value minus P of A minus P of A intersection B. By De Morgan's law, okay, by De Morgan's, you know that the event A complement intersection B complement is equal to A union B complement. 
So when you distribute the complements to each of those events, the union changes to intersection. We've done this lecture number three, I think. This implies that the probability of A complement intersection B complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of A union B. From here, I can find the probability of A union B to be equal to 1 minus the probability of A complement intersection B complement. I have this, which is 0 0.25. Therefore, A union B has a probability of 0 0.75. I can plug it here. Okay. Therefore, probability of B is 0 0.75 minus P of A minus P of A intersection B. Now the next thing to do is to find that, and I'm going to use that. Let me go ahead and draw a Venn diagram. Let's say that's event A. Event B here, within the sample space, as A complement union B. So A complement is that region. Everything outside of A. I'm going to use black to shade the region B. So A complement union B is everything except this region right here. And that region is that one is A minus B. Everything in A without the part which is in B. And A minus B is equal to A intersection B complement. We've done this on one of our lectures. But if you look at this, A complement union B is actually the complement of A intersection B complement. What I'm saying here is a complement union B by De Morgan's law again is equal to A intersection B complement complement. Okay? I know the probability of A complement union B, and that should be equal to the probability of A intersection B complement. Since I know this, this is 0 0.8, so this implies 0 0.8 is equal to it's 1 minus the probability of A intersection B complement. A intersection B complement has a probability of 0 0.2. Okay, what is A intersection B, B complement? A intersection B complement is equal to A minus A intersection B. Okay, the region which is not shaded is A intersection B complement. You take away the intersection of A and B from A, you get A minus B, which is that. Therefore, the probability of A intersection B complement is equal to the probability of A minus the probability of A intersection B, which is what I have in parentheses here. Therefore, the probability of B is equal to 0 0.75 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.55.